Just under a year ago, me and my brothers went on a trip to southern Italy. I filmed everything, but never edited the footage. Well, better late than never, they say, right? These videos show off everything we enjoyed that Naples and the Amalfi Coast had to offer. Enjoy. We've stopped off at this little um, coffee shop here which has air conditioning. We're exploring Sorrento, a town which is famous for lemons. So we've already got some lemon jazzed gifts and everything. Anthony is having some gelato. Just there, what flavour? Stracciatella. Stracciatella. And me and Sebastian are having a little sweet treat with sherry inside and topped with icing. Cream. Cream and sherry. Um, and a coffee. So <clears throat> this is some fresh lemon juice made with the fresh lemons of Sorrento. A common sight on the coast were notes like these of motorbikes parked where they weren't allowed. The note stating the bike has broken down and it's impossible to start it in an attempt to avoid a ticket. It looks in pretty good nick to me though, so I don't know how much I believe that. Next up was obviously Lemoncello. We went to one of the most famous liquor stores in Sorrento in search of the best Lemoncello. It's safe to say, we found it. This gentleman was a Lemoncello connoisseur, if you will, and pointed us in the right direction. Okay. <laughs> After finishing a nice antipasti lunch somewhere recommended to an old colleague of mine, we have now just stumbled across a lovely lemon farm. And if you did not know, the most famous um, lemons come from Sorrento in Italy and Campania, the region we are in. Um, and that is also the home of Lemoncello, which we have bought multiple litres of in my backpack. And obviously, because that would be stealing, when we were driving along the Amalfi coast yesterday, the crazy road with all of the buses and stuff, all the way to Amalfi, you saw private little ones of these lemons all over the place being grown. So obviously little family run ones where they sell off their lemons to the local villages, or they sell them off to make lemoncello, but it's just, it's just the lemons are on a completely different lem level here to other regions, and they're also small. The farms are smaller, they're not mass produced. <laughs> Common definition for us class lads as one of Anthony's scraps of long hair tangled down by his ear. No, you look fine actually, no right hairs. All that was left was a bit of R&R &R on the beach, but relaxing is hard, so a drink is also needed. Anyway, the plan now is to get a train back to Napoli and then enjoy our last evening with some beers and some... What else are we having? Pizza time. Pizza time or pasta time or antipasti time. Seb, what do you want for dinner? Pizza time. Pizza time. So me and Anthony have got um, a nice Nasa Rosura, a nice little easy drink, and then Sebastian's got a fuck off huge bottle of Toroni Rosa. Hold that next to that. Look how big that old boy is. That's on the on the anyway. bottom shelf and he's like, oh my god, they've got it. <laughs> so we had, this, um, we had this on the first night in the first pizzeria we went to, Which and it's like a very night. hoppy, dark flavoured Peroni. My kind of drink. Seb's kind of drink, he likes the dark drinks. Wow. Hand. 
No. We've got a lot of photos of all three of us, plus... Oh, okay. No, no we don't. I'm still filming, so we're just going to screenshot it. Selfie. Okay. Well, the following morning we packed up and rushed to the airport. Looking back at this footage nearly a year and a half after we went, it makes me pretty down about the current climate. Would I love to be abroad on holiday? Yes. Do I wish that I could be on a beach or walking around a museum soaking up some other culture? Yes. But the thing that this footage really does is make me realise how we take time with loved ones for granted. This was a solid 10 days with my brothers that I haven't really had since. Did we have arguments? Of course. Disagreements? Most definitely. But to have the opportunity to do so taken away as it has been in 2020 has made life really tough. However, I genuinely believe we are nearly at the end of this. I can see the light. I hope whoever is watching this stupid little vlog can too. Until next time, the sporadic crap vlogger signing off this trip and looking forward to editing the next one.